Spider-Man 2 is coming out, and pretty much the case with every single Spider-Man game is that there's going to be a shit ton of spandex outfits that you can put on to dress yourself up and look all fancy. That's like half the reason I decided to wear this costume today, because like, the Spider-Man 2099 suit is one of the most popular alternate suits when a Spider-Man game comes around. If there's a game that's coming out about Spider-Man and there's alternate suits involved, you might be looking like me. Pretty fresh, pretty cool. Swag. But what will be the case for Spider-Man 2, the sequel to Insomniac Spider-Man? Now me, I think that there's gonna be so many alternative costumes, but today I'm gonna go over the ones that I think are definitely gonna be in the game, the ones that I want in the game, and ones that you will never, ever fucking see in the game, no matter how hard we ask for them, or they're just cool little fun picks that I think would be cool and I know won't happen. I'm not running off the script again, so like this video is gonna be like, shit. Hey guys, look, I'm reusing assets from that one guy you guys like to watch more than me. Please, I swear this is just like a, a fucking fun reference, I promise. Okay, so pretty much all the suits here are ones that I think are definitely gonna show up in the game. All right, where do we, um, where do we start? Uh, let's, let's go, let's go left to right, down to bottom, whatever. The 2021 Miles is, the Miles 10th anniversary suit. This is a suit I think is definitely getting into the game. There is no chance in hell that Miles Morales isn't gonna get to wear one of his most controversial looks from recent years. I've talked about this costume before in a couple of old videos when it was way more relevant back when he was still wearing it as his main costume. A lot of people in the community hated it. I still know people who hate it, but it's not that bad, honestly. Like, I thought, I always thought it was a cool look for the character. I think people were way too harsh on it when it came out, to be honest. I mean, I get it. The status quo changes, and sometimes that pisses people off. It's kind of hard to whisk away this really cool Miles Morales costume that's one of the most iconic parts about his character. But this costume is pretty cool too. I like it. I like it. I, I'm on my. I'm on my. I'm on my uh, peaceful arc this year with Spider-Man content, man. Ever since that trailer came out, my fucking Spider-Man depression has been cured. You guys don't know what I've been going through. I've literally watched my favorite character get cucked by a man I didn't know existed until like two months ago. It's tough. It's so tough. Continuing on, we have another controversial costume. Wow, we really like to throw these in, but this is another costume I think is definitely gonna be in the game. The Beyond Suit. Now, the reason I think this one is definitely gonna get in is because it's relevant, it's recent to the comics, and it's a brand new costume that I think the iron is still hot enough where Insomniac can strike it again and get some relevancy going by adding this costume. I also think that this costume was one that the community was way too harsh to, including myself, to be honest. I fucking hated the asymmetrical logo from day one, and I kind of still do just a wee bit. But it's okay, I guess. I think another two costumes Insomniac are definitely going to add due to the relevancy of them and the recency of them is these two pieces of garbage, which I've shit on in previous two videos. I think Insomniac can make these costumes likable like there's a couple of spider-man costumes that i don't really enjoy all that much and then insomniac did their take on them and i actually kind of like them a lot more after insomniac got their hands on them so i think these two are definitely going to be suits that insomniac will add i just forgot to put them in the infographic but yeah i think they're going to be put in and insomniac's going to make them look a lot cooler i fucking hope next up do I even have to fucking explain why this one's gonna get in? Next up, we have Cosmic Spider-Man. This one I'm a little iffy about getting in because I feel like it, this costume is one of the most popular alternate Spider-Man suits of all time. But I'm also conflicted because if they didn't put it in the first game, which they definitely had multiple chances to with the DLC and the main suit roster itself, I kind of question if they're even gonna put it in at all. So. It might get in, it might not get in. I would place my bets on that it will and hope I don't lose $5. Ben Riley, man, Ben Riley's getting a lot of love on this list, to be honest. I mean, the man's, the man's got a nice, you know, he's got a nice fashion sense. 
I'll definitely admit. Ben Riley's sensational Spider-Man suit is another mainstay of the alternate Spider-Man costume library. I was surprised that they didn't put it in the last one. I think it's the same case with the cosmic Spider-Man suit. If they didn't put that one in the last game, I'm a little iffy as to if they're gonna put it in this one or not. But, I mean, at this point, you really gotta think about it. If Insomniac's gonna be adding new costumes into the game, that means they really have to expand their horizons and pick out more costumes. So, if one didn't get into the last game, I'm sure it'll get in now just because of the fact that Insomniac has to probably add more costumes to keep people from being upset. So, is Sensational Spider-Man gonna get in? Yeah. Next up, we have the favorite son of the Spider-Man live action suits, and that is the Tasm 2 costume. I made videos shitting on this thing, blah, blah, blah. It's not perfect. It's still a cool costume, to be honest. Now that I've been looking at it a lot more and actually like looking at it, and I think I actually made a video where I talked nicely about it. I don't remember what video it was, but I went back on my opinions about the Tasm 2 suit and I was like, I actually like this thing. And I think that video that I made was maybe a little unnecessary. But here it is. I think they're definitely going to add it into this game, especially because they've added almost every live action Spider-Man costume except this one. And unless they want to go back and add all the like homemade trashy Spider-Man suits from previous movies, you have to start here. You have to start at the Tasm 2. It would make no sense not to. So Tasm 2, I think, is definitely going to get in the next game. Plus, I mean, fans are gonna lose their shit if it doesn't. Shit, I ain't one of them, I made that video. <laughs> All right, guys, we're leaving. We're leaving Weenie Hut Jr., come on. Let's go, we're leaving, we're leaving. Now we're gonna go to my house. I'm scared to stand next to this thing, I know it. I don't wanna stand in front of this thing because I know it's gonna fucking blow up at some point. Anyway, let's talk about the costumes that I think would be really cool in the game. First off, Stan's Costume Shop Spider-Man suit from Miles Morales' Into the Spider-Verse. I actually really like this costume for some reason. I think it's so charming and funny that Miles Morales spends like the first half of this movie wearing like a crappy costume version of the Spider-Man suit. I loved this like little jumpsuit so much that I've made like several different versions of it over the past few years using like sweater materials and all kinds of stuff like that. I even made one for my very own Miles Morales, Trey for Miles, who also has a shirt shop that you should check out. I just really love this costume and I hope they put it into the game so that they can give it a name, like they give most suits names, so that I don't have to look up a bunch of random bullshit to find actual pictures of this costume. It's so hard to like put in a search query for this costume because there's no name for it. It's half the reason I want it to be in the game. I really wanted it to be in Miles Morales 2018 so they could finally name this thing so I could get some reference photos of it for the costumes I wanted to make of it. I I just ended up screen capping the movie, man. And I also wanted to have the cape. The cape is important. It has to have the cape. And, and speaking of capes, by the way, I'm not currently wearing my cape because it got ripped off. Okay, I'm gonna put a longer one on it. Uh, but the 2099 suit, I want my fucking cape back. Next up, we have a, a really funny picture of Miles Morales in his own themed swim trunks, which I think is really cute. It'd be a nice parallel to Peter's underwear suit, uh, even though one of these is way more inappropriate than the other. I just think it'd be funny because I thought it was cool that like Miles Morales just has his own swim shorts that are based off his costume. And I think it'd be really fun to add into the game, especially seeing as you have to do a lot more work for Miles Morales when it comes to adding suits than Peter Parker, because Peter Parker has way more suits than Miles Morales. Yeah, there, there's a reason that a lot of the suits in the Miles Morales 2018 game are just straight up made up. Miles Morales does not have a big closet to go through. The suit, fun fact, is from the Jeff the Land Shark mini comic series, if I believe, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm correct about that. Uh, very cute. Very nice. I definitely recommend it. Okay, next up. Uh, I was looking for Miles Morales costumes on Google to add to this video, and I saw this one costume. I have no clue where it's from. All I know is that it's Miles Morales from the future, and I thought it looked cool. <laughs> so I put it in the I put it in the infographic, guys. Put it in the game. 
Put it in the game now, come on. Just do it, it'll be fine, just do it. Next up, we have the Miles Morales symbiote costume from the Marvel Dark Ages comic. Uh, in this comic, Miles actually becomes a symbiote. He gets in possession of the symbiote after the entire Marvel Universe goes dark of technology. There's no more technology left on the planet. Um, and Miles is left with uh, this pretty snazzy symbiote look. Now, there's two different things you can do with this costume. You can either A, put it in the red variant, or B, put it in the white variant. I think the red variant would definitely clue you into the fact that, hey, this is Miles Morales, not Peter. So it would be a little less confusing in gameplay. But if you give him the white variant, you'd get a pretty snazzy matchup when you have your Peter in his black suit next to his Miles in the black suit. I think that'd be pretty cool. Whichever is fine. Seeing as Insomniac likes to add their uh, super teched out cybernetic costumes, I figured that the concept art for the Miles Morales 2021 suit when they were still trying to figure out what it would look like would be a very cool addition to the game's costume roster. I'm doing a lot of press work for Miles Morales in this video. You're welcome. It's like the, the two Miles Morales fans in my audience who like him more than Peter are just like, YES! Yeah! Man, I'm, I'm here for you. You'll notice that my list for suits that I want on this page is very short. Um, there's only one costume left to go over, and it's a uh, Supida Man. I just, I don't, I don't have to explain myself. Do I really have to explain why I want the fucking Supida Man to be in the goddamn game? No. I don't have to fucking explain myself. Look at him, dude! It's Supida Man! He's got his goddamn wrist his goddamn wristwatch on and he can call the goddamn leopard on down from the sky. If this fucking suit has a suit ability, I swear to God, it better be something cool. I want leopard on to appear in the skybox and fucking shoot down laser beams out of his asshole onto the poor NYC street criminals that we're beating the shit out of in this game. That's what I want. And I better get what I fucking want. No, but yeah, the list of suits that I want for this game is honestly pretty short. I think all the suits that are in the game and pretty much what Insomniac is gonna add into the game, I'm already pretty happy with. So yeah, that's about it. The video's over, there's nothing else after this. Oh, fuck! See, I fucking told you the house was gonna fucking explode. I literally, I told you guys this. I fucking told you guys this. Nobody ever believes me when I say shit. They're just like, oh, he's being the silly funny guy again. We're in hell now, because I died. Wait, why am I in hell? God damn it, I knew I should have went to church. All right, guys, now that we're in hell, we're definitely getting to some of the costumes that I think would be really cool to add, but they're locked down here in hell with the rest of us. So we're never gonna get to see these suits unless God literally comes down himself, God being insomnia, literally comes down grabs the suit and brings it back up to the overworld. Hopefully we're gonna be in, in God's great hands soon, I hope. But um, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So for this first costume, I have a pitch. So this idea started from the fact that I was really disappointed by Insomniac's 100% reward to the player for doing everything in Spider-Man. It's not a really cool suit. It's not something nice, it's Spider-Man in his underwear. Which is funny, okay, it's funny for like five minutes. I, I just don't think it's a good, you know, reward to the player. And something I thought would have been much funnier and way cooler is if they did Spider-Ham instead. Now, 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 I know some people are saying, Kai, you can't fucking do Spider-Ham because he's like fucking three feet tall and it'd be weird if you compared it to the Peter model. Well, lucky thing for you, I'm not an idiot who stops when I see a problem. What you could do is you could just make a version of the classic suit and slap some piggy decorations on it. It'd be funny, but I think it'd work. It'd be all right. I think it'd be funny, and uh, I think it'd be the only way that you could do Spider-Ham in this game, and I, th I just think it'd be cool. Like, come on, guys. Do you not think this would be a good idea? If you don't think this would be a good idea, guess what? I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you, and I'm glad you're down here in hell with me. Fuck you. Uh, what else? Um, 
next up, I'm going to show you guys a suit that you probably haven't seen before, and there's like a 50% chance that all of you will hate it. This is a suit Alex Ross designed once. It's this really weird, like, thermal heat looking kind of Spider-Man suit. But I won't lie, it's definitely kind of slick, and it's an interesting costume for the character that I don't think is bad. I just think it's really weird and cool. If you look at the back here, it also has Spider-Man written on the back, which I think is really funny. Just in case you didn't know, you know, Spider-Man. I think the green and the purple is a really nice touch, especially the red faded around the logo. I dig it. I think Alex Ross is someone who's been around Spider-Man for a long time, and also he's been around a lot of Marvel superheroes. So I think he knows his way around designing Spider-Man costumes. So this is good. This is definitely a good suit that I like. And I think Insomniac could pay homage to one of the greatest Spider-Man artists of all time, by including this costume into the game. Next up, we have the Civil War Spider-Man suit. Now, normally, a good YouTuber would describe to you the features of this costume just as I have, but instead, I'm gonna be a bad YouTuber and I'm just gonna tell you to go watch the video I made two weeks ago about it because I know you motherfuckers didn't watch that video. I know who you are watching this video thinking you're slick and you got away with this shit you're in hell okay i have no more things to hold back anymore i've lost everything i'm in hell okay the only thing i have is the spandex on my body and all the thoughts i've kept inside due to the fear of pissing off people around me but you know what i don't give a fuck anymore we're in hell go watch my video you have nothing better to do anyway you're in fucking hell it's either this or you get fucking whipped by satan's jockeys while wearing bdsm go watch the video all right next up um the avengers spider-man classic suit not that fucking ugly thing the better one this costume i haven't been able to get out of my head ever since i saw it for the first time it's been on the list of suits that i want to make for a while because i just think it's such a cool and slick version of the classic suit I love the milky, foggy eyes, the classic logos. I love how bright the suit is. I love the textures of the suit. I love the web pattern. Everything about this suit is beautiful. But it belongs to the Avengers video game, so there's like almost no chance that this thing would get in. I mean, like, I think Square Enix owns this thing. I don't know who the fuck owns this thing. It's either Marvel or Square Enix. And only one of them is half cool enough to let us have it. Fucking Marvel. Anyway, I just really like it. And I think it'd be cool if Insomniac could sort of stoop down to the level of Avengers. Seeing as how horrible that game was. And just go in there and be like, you know, this everything here sucks. But we're going to take this and we're going to leave. <sighs> Guys, I have no more suits left to show you. I have no more. And now we're just in hell with nothing left. Nothing left. Wait, wait, what is that? Is that a self insert? I, dude, I, I feel like I've been on crack for like the entirety of this video. We're not in hell guys, it, it, it was all fake. It's just a green screen. I can't believe you guys fell for that, that you actually thought we were in hell and that you actually clicked off of this video to go watch my Civil War video because you thought you had nothing better to do because you thought we were actually in hell. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, guys. I can't believe it. We're not in hell, guys. You can still go hug your family. Jesus. Ugh. Damn.